Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 5th, okay? So we know the timing is food, and not every reading is for you. So I've cut it to the Two of Wands and the Chariot. They're both upright. Two of Wands is a decision. Uh, somebody here is at a crossroads. They have to make a choice. Do I move forward? Do I stay here? What do I do? Um, looks to me as though this person has already made their decision. It's like they got the whole world in their hands and they see an opportunity. It's like this opportunity is coming right for them. Okay? Uh, it's like there's an opportunity flying in, right? There could be some travel that is indicated here. Um, very interesting. Looks like we have two two doves, so I'm not sure if this has to do with love or what it has to do with, but twos are about partnerships, and they're about choices, and they're about change. Chariot is getting in the driver's seat, taking charge, going somewhere. So, yes, definitely some travel. There's something, somebody's going somewhere. They've made, I feel like this is a decision that has been made. We have a warrior here, a very strong, determined individual. Obviously, a choice has been made. I feel like the choice has been made because this person is is going somewhere. It's like I'm. I gotta go. I gotta go in this direction. This is this is great. It's very positive. So interesting. Making a move. Somebody is making a move. A big move with that chariot card. That is strong willed. Going someplace. I'm going. I'm going in that new direction. Definitely. Or going in that direction. Going somewhere. Taking a journey. Hmm. Oh, we got two. Three of Pentacles and the two of Pentacles. So three of Pentacles. It looks like we have somebody here that has an opportunity. They're going to be working with somebody, proving their skills. This is somebody who has a skill. They, this person is very skilled at what they do, and they're gonna, and they're gonna be proving themselves. It's like they're gonna be putting in effort to show somebody what they got. You know, they're gonna put in some effort. Highly skilled individuals going to be proving their skill to somebody. I don't know. This I don't know if this is an apprentice or somebody that is trying to sell something. I don't know. It feels like we got a salesman here. Somebody that is very skilled at selling things or has some sort of skill that can, they're trying to prove to another person. Could be a skilled player with the Two of Pentacles. I mean, juggling is a game after all, so we may have a skilled player here that, you know, is very, I don't know if this is manipulation or what. I'm the right one for the job, you know what I mean? Just, you know what I mean? Trying to get the job. I feel like we have somebody here that's trying to get a job, trying to get a position. You know, take a look at that. This is somebody trying to prove something, trying to prove their skills, whatever it is. <laughs> oh. oh, what I just heard was, uh, well, you know who I am, right? You know, I, I say it like I am supposed to say it. So this is like, this person's got balls. Okay, this person's got balls. So whatever, whatever. Um, that's what I heard. I, gutsy. This is gutsy. So anyway, we have somebody here. I feel like it's going to be doing something. Uh, very strong-willed, very determined to have victory because of that chariot card. Uh, going to be taking charge. Huh. Ooh, 
Lovers reversed. So the lovers reversed is a disharmony in a partnership. There's disharmony, there's separation, there's no unity or a lack of unity or a lack of reciprocation. This could even be a separation, okay, from the wrong one. Okay, somebody may be separating from a contract that they are not compatible with, with the lover's card reverse. This is an incompatibility, it could be a conflict, you know. Um, this is detaching from a partnership. Ace of Swords reverse. Now, Ace of Swords reverse is lack of honesty. There's some sort of dishonesty here, or untruth or... Let me get another card. Loss of power. Could be some Page of Cups reverse rejection. We have a rejection here. Unrequited love. Ooh, Page of Cups reverse. The lovers reversed. Absolutely. We have an unrequited love situation here. Don't love it. I don't love it. Sorry for my look. I just got back from Salem in Boston just about half an hour ago. Anyhow, Page of Cups reversed, the lovers reversed, unrequited love. This is a, this is like a dis, this is like uh, Ace of Swords. It's not truthful. It's a lack of truth. It's not, it's not an honest connection. It's not a truthful connection. There's unrequited love here. Okay. There's a one-sidedness. Definitely. Ace of Swords is one. Page of Cups reversed, lovers reversed. It's not reciprocated. So somebody is in a unrequited love situation. Maybe they've been unaware, you know, Ace of Swords reversed, or they just didn't want to see. Maybe they didn't want to see the truth. They didn't want to accept the truth. I know you guys don't want to hear that shit, but I'm back. So here we are. Anyhow, Page of Cups reversed. Um, bubble burst. Not good news. Uh, somebody could be stopping communication. Ace of Swords may, re may receive a message that, that is not good news. You know, it's a... It's not. It could have to do with a partnership or a separation. You know, this isn't, this isn't working out. There's no communication or there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of reciprocation. This is not working out. Um, <clears throat> King of Wands reversed. King of Wands reversed is not... Well, usually the King of Wands reverse may do something impulsive, or this person is could be angry, could be upset, um, unrealistic, maybe even self-centered. Uh, no excitement, no passions. I feel like we have somebody here that is not, they're not in a very passionate situation. There's no passion, there's no desire, there's no growth. And they could be angry and upset, maybe even depressed. King of Wands reverse. There's this is like actually Ace of Swords reverse. Loss of power. Um, so now the Three of Pentacles is reversed. So that is wasted time somebody has wasted time they didn't see they, there was lack of foresight they didn't see the truth which is with the ace of swords somebody may have been refusing to see the truth trying to prove something to other people maybe to a mother maybe to a father maybe to their religion maybe to the church you know i keep seeing the religion in this three of pentacles somebody was trying to prove something i don't know maybe it's to their parents or to their mother or to somebody maybe even their father or to somebody they were trying to prove that they weren't wrong that they didn't make a mistake maybe egos in the way here with the king of wands reversed you know you could have somebody here that is extremely prideful they're extremes. We have a lot of reversals here. There's extremes here. Somebody may have went to extremes to make something work, you know, uh, but it doesn't look like it's working out. It doesn't look like it's working out. There's a lack of nobility here with the King of Wands reverse. This is somebody that's not very noble or they haven't done the noble thing. They haven't been honest with somebody hasn't been honest with themselves. Ace of Swords reverse next to the King of Wands reverse. That's dishonesty with self. I believe it's with self. 
Three of Pentacles reversed, though. That Now it's reversed, so that's like uh, wishing they could go back. Um, didn't see, wasn't prepared. And I think there was another option that has appeared because the lovers is another option, right? It is. It's another option. It's it's two choices. And I feel like there's a the struggle with the two of wands we had at the beginning. There's been some sort of power struggle with should I stay or should I go? I think there's gonna be movement because my hair is terrible because I was on a plane. But anyhow, there's gonna be some sort of movement with that chariot card that could be packing up and leaving home. Same with the two of wands. Uh, the two of wands is, is stepping into new territory. It's like a, it's like the grass is greener over there. Seeing that this, this is a very passionate, exciting opportunity. I mean, somebody has an opportunity with that ace of wands coming in. You know that is exciting. It's go. It's 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 a fresh start. It's just go for it. There's passion. There's desire. There's. Uh, just do it. So I think we have somebody here that is going to do something and it does it is it's a it's a big bold ballsy move by the sounds of things. I think it's ballsy. Um I, I do. Uh. And I think it's because it's an unexpected choice in love because of the lovers card. The lovers is a choice between two options. And oh, I can't stand the hair. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got off a plane. Anyhow, what, what are we going to do here? Um, I can't wait for it to grow. I'm not getting it cut again for a long time. Letting it grow, 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 grow. Anyhow, what do we got? What do we got? And this is about growth. It is. There's been a lack of growth. Somebody's been in a situation and there's been a lack of growth. They've been trying to prove something to somebody that they've been wasting their time with. With the Three of Pentacles reversed. Because it's just not a compatible partnership. There's no unity. There's no equality. You can't be yourselves with, yourself with this person. This person makes them feel ashamed all the time of who they are. You know, puts them down and makes them feel ashamed. Bossy. Controlling. Manipulative. Could even have a narcissist here. I mean, we could have a narcissist here who puts somebody down all the time to control. The moon reverse reality check. Somebody's about some 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 sort of truth is about to be revealed. Okay. There's something that has been hidden, hidden feelings, deep feelings. Somebody's been hiding their feelings, maybe with addictions or in their work or in their job or something like that. But something is going to happen, okay? The moon is unforeseen. It's, uh, it's uh, hidden forces. Somebody's also been held back by fear. I feel like we have a release of fear here. We do. We have a release of fear. Somebody's been extremely paranoid. Paranoid of the of the consequences if they leave. Look at me. Uh, I'm holding my heart. I am holding my heart. Anyhow, um... <laughs> That's interesting. Wow. The moon reverse. That is a reality check. It's seeing the truth. It's coming to... Uh, light, truth coming to light. Uh, I do think there's a choice with the lover's card. I think there's a choice. Somebody is making a choice. Um, I think it's a big, 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 big choice. And it is about love. It's about a partnership or a contract. Whatever this contract is. Could be a work contract, I suppose. But it could be something else. 
okay? Um, somebody is making a big choice about a contract. We have Gemini, the first card out, with a lover's card. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, with the Page of Cups reversed, with the unrequited love situation. We have King of Wands reversed, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this is the decision maker. I could be wrong, okay? We have Moon, Pisces, or Cancer. Um, we also have... Uh, well, somebody's been dishonest with the Ace of Swords reversed. They haven't been honest about their deep feelings with the moon reversed. They haven't been honest. They haven't been honest. Um, there's been a lack of cooperation. There's been a lack of, of equality. There's been a lack of togetherness. Um, a lack of teamwork with a person that, um, I don't know, it's an unrequited love situation. It is. It's a one-sided situation. Um magician taking action this is very action oriented doing something I gotta do something I'm going to do something this is a believer this is somebody has a direct connection to source okay this is somebody that is going to be doing something to bring success this is somebody that believes that they have the power they're going to be finding their resources they're going to be taking action and doing something um, the answer is yes. This is a yes answer. Um, creating, doing something to create a better life or to create something for themselves. This is somebody that does have skills. This is a very skilled person. Again, we have Gemini here. Um, to have Gemini a couple times. But anyhow, um, this is a very skilled person who has the ability, and this doesn't have to be Gemini, it can be anybody. We all have the power to create our best life, okay? All we have to do is find the resources within ourselves to do whatever it takes to have that success. And that chariot is about success. It's mastering emotions, finding the discipline, finding the willpower, taking control, taking charge. And if it means the magician is willing to shed the old to bring in the new, okay? The magician will do whatever it takes to bring success, will do anything. This person believes in themselves, believes that they will succeed. And when you have faith and you believe that you will succeed, you will succeed. So anyhow, it's all about faith. It's all about your belief. It's all about yourself. And the magician is a card of self. It is. It's number one. Okay. Ones are about you. They're about self. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is about to take action. Um, I feel like they are very gifted. I feel like we have somebody here that has been intuitively guided. They may have gone through an epiphany or they've gone through some sort of awakening and they're replacing their fear with faith. I do see a release of faith. I mean, a release of fear here. And I see, and that same with the chariot, that is replacing the fear with faith. This is literally going in that new direction, um, traveling, moving forward. Somebody could definitely be expanding their horizons, moving somewhere. Um, definitely, definitely moving somewhere with the two of wands and the chariot card. Um, this is, this is just leaving it all behind. It is like the decision. I feel like the decision with, the, especially with the lovers reverse too, their decision has been made. So I think that we have somebody here that's about to take action in a very, very big way. Um, then there is romance in the air. You know, it's in this magician car, he's pointing right down at that rose so there's something to do with romance, okay? Um, there's also karma here with the infinity sign. What goes around comes around. So there's something that I feel like is coming around. Um, I don't know. It may have something to do with everlasting love. Whenever I see that, I think it. I don't say it, but I think it. Uh, this could be a love connection. I do feel like we have a love connection here, even if the lovers is reversed. I think we have somebody here that has been held back by fear, okay? They, or they've been held back by illusion because the moon's all about illusion, okay? This is about coming out of the illusion, okay? It's releasing the fear. Um, I feel like some truth is about to be revealed. I feel like you're un I feel like somebody ha has been put in a circumstance where they were unprepared 
you know, they were unprepared, maybe they were unprepared for a connection, or they were unprepared to fall in love, or they were unprepared for a rejection. Okay, this, there is definitely a rejection here, just so you know. Somebody is being rejected, for sure. There's no doubt about it. Lovers reversed, page of cups reversed. You know, they're being rejected, and, and it's because of, of somebody's intuition, a strong intuition here. I feel like somebody's been ignoring their intuition. They've been ignoring their gut. They've been trying to make something work where it's just not compatible. It's just not. It's just not. So I feel like this is an awakening of some sort. I do. I feel like we have an awakening, and I feel like we have somebody here that is separating from a false contract because they've been it's like they've been unable to see the truth but I feel like we have an awakening I feel like this is an awakening of some sort it's like a wake-up call this is a masculine energy by the way it's a masculine energy that is taking action very skilled very skilled. I mentioned that at the person. I mean, at the beginning, I think it's still Mercury retrograde, huh? This is a very skilled person. This person is uh, has the ability to get whatever they want because as above, so below. This is what you asked for. Somebody asked for this perfect partnership, but I feel like they've been ignoring it because... Maybe they didn't feel like they were going to be accepted or they weren't good enough or something like that. But this is like finding the focus and becoming self-aware. So self-aware and, and, and believing. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is about to take some action in regards to themselves, what they want, what they want for themselves. They've been in their pride. They've been in their ego and they've been rejecting their own needs. Get prepared to uh, see a change, okay? Because some, I, I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be like, they're, it's almost like you have to see the truth. You, there's, you have to accept the truth. You know, there's been a lack of acceptance of truth with the Ace of Swords reversed. This just isn't working out. You know, or, you know, there's somebody else. That's what I see. Good luck. 